when it's no when you're no longer logged in or accessible the handle does nothing on the outside so let's look at the fingerprint turned uh, green when it said it read it fine hey it's Josh with Hardy Brothers Outdoors Hardy Brothers product reviews welcome back uh, I have this product here that is a smart lock and a fingerprint lock uh, that is for a doorknob so previously I have installed a uh, fingerprint deadbolt and I haven't been able to find one that did the fingerprint on the door lock this was sent to me free of charge and um, it's pretty slick. It's got the fingerprint on the top. It's also got a touch keypad here. Uh, this is also made to where you can gain access to it with a battery bank if you need a battery bank to get access to it. It's Wi-Fi enabled. It has a uh, it has an app that goes with it, so you can do a lot of uh, programming and setup from the app as well as just the overall management of this. So this is a exterior. Uh, door set up and um, we're going to do the installation here in a minute uh, one of the it's actually got these little smart key uh, key codes as well so this chip here will allow you to just wave it in front of it and unlock it as well so pretty cool little setup um, we're going to get it installed here on a, on a exterior door on my house ideally what I'd like to do is move these over to my uh, pole barn down at the cabin uh, and use them uh, to be able to gain access without having to worry about having keys with me. Um, but we need to make sure that our Wi-Fi and everything's stable there before we move to that level of uh, uh, capability. It, although both of these would support it without Wi-Fi, um, I think that's kind of the next step. So we're going to get this thing uh, set up and get the app downloaded, do the installation, check it out, and, uh, and see what we think. So far, it uh, looks pretty good, and it does match our... Uh, oil rub bronze colors so that's been kind of the cool thing is the things we've been getting actually match what we've got so doesn't necessarily look like your traditional uh, uh, knob but uh, yeah I think it's gonna be a, an interesting uh, interesting product to check out and try out for a while so but we're gonna show you what we think about it today first impressions get the installation done and uh, and go from there so stick around Okay, to speed things up, I've gone ahead and taken the other uh, handle out and added the uh, latch mechanism in there already. It's cold, it's rainy outside, it seems to be the case whenever I do these. A uh, couple things, as you feed the outside in, uh, there will be a little uh, wire that has to feed through and into this piece here, which I've already added the four AAA batteries. In order to get this handle off of here, there is a little uh, locking uh, hex nut in there or Allen key that has to be used to get this piece off. So pretty easy. I'm pretty sure from this point we only have these two screws to put in. Get that set up and then uh, we'll get the app set up and get things going. So I think this is going to be pretty quick. Those are always my famous last words. Got to feed that wire through, and I'm not sure, I believe the fingerprint will go up. That's how you'd want that. And I need to keep that wire coming through. Okay, so I missed this part of the instructions. There are actually four screws that have to come out to detach the battery piece. This could be done before you have it on the wall. That would also make fishing that line through a lot easier. Okay, so now we hook them together. Make sure if you're using the power drill that you've got the torque turned back quite a bit because you don't want to over tighten. Okay, so as I was giving advice about not over tightening, I over tightened uh, the 
two bolts in here or the two screws in there uh, to where this wasn't going to open and close. So we got that back off, fixed it, got our electric hooked up. We now want to hold the reset button for until we hear two beeps. There we go. So now we're reset. Let's put our decorative cover back on. All right, I'm gonna get the app and then we're gonna do some programming here. Okay, so overall our installation went really well. Had a few little hiccups on there. Don't over tighten the, um, the knob when you're putting it together. I did that, I had to take it back apart to loosen it. But I, I used the app and set up a fingerprint very easily. A passcode, you can generate passcodes, you can do permanent, one time, timed. Uh, there's a lot of different options. There's also this little key, there's three of these little key fobs here. here. So you can assign those to people so that you know who's coming and going. So I can put that over there and now the handle operates as it should. When it's no, when you're no longer logged in or accessible, the handle does nothing on the outside. So let's look at the fingerprint. Turned uh, green when it said it read it fine. It's good. And then I also have a code that I can use. I did the wrong one there. So let's see. Wrong code. Didn't work, all right. And now it works. So you hit in your, your code, it can be anywhere from four to eight digits, I think. And um, yeah, you can set them up for all your different users. What I like now is we have a fingerprint for both or a keypad code that we could get in this door if we had no keys. Uh, anywhere in the house so or anywhere on our, our person. So that's uh, that's pretty cool. It looks good, pretty stylish. Um, it's got alerts to tell you when the battery's dead. It's got uh, all kinds of stuff. It's, it's going to uh, leverage the uh, Bluetooth connectivity to it. You can set remote unlocking, but you got to configure gateway and Wi-Fi. That's one thing I haven't done yet is configured the Wi-Fi. So I got to check that out. But overall, it's a pretty uh, pretty cool looking thing. You know, I feel somewhat cutting edge here. We got fingerprint locks on this door. Maybe we'll end up moving these down and putting these on my pole barn or my barn dominium, as I call it, because uh, I do like the uh, the simplicity of not having to have a key with you. So, anyway, uh, overall, I think it's a pretty cool product, and uh, we're excited to have it. Thanks a lot to the brand for sending it to us. Thank you very much. Have a great day. We'll see you next time.